Hi, everyone. It's Muriel, and I'm so glad to be back and be back to um, say hello to all of you ladies. As you know, I went on a three-day crop to this wonderful place called The Great Escape here in uh, Washington, and it's a beautiful uh, home that was built specifically for scrapbooking. It has uh, two floors. It has about 10 bedrooms uh, with twin beds in each bedroom. So two to a room. Um, downstairs was enough room for each person to have six foot tables, a big kitchen, and the girl who hosted it uh, did all the meals. So we really had a good time. And like I said, I was in my pajamas until from Friday afternoon until I took them off this morning because I just wanted to crop. So I wanted to show you what I did. As I told you before, I stuck to my plan. Friday was stick pins. Saturday were cards, and Sunday was flowers. So let's get started. So my first book I used was this one by My Mind's Eye. It's their um, A Mother's Love book, and I did two cards using this um, paper pad. So here's the first one. These will be Mother's Day cards. I'll probably send one to my mom, one to my sister. But the papers, I just love the blues and the oranges. This is a chipboard that I purchased at um, this place called Ben Franklin. For those of you that live in Washington, you probably know about it. Um, and I just covered it with some of the paper. And I don't know if you can see, but this um, are some antennas that I did with some um, um, I don't want to call it twine, but I just tied two knots in and um, made it like uh, antennas for the butterfly. That's a crochet doily that I purchased recently at the antique shop that I cut apart. And um, that's a bottle cap with a piece of the uh, designer paper cutout that says, Dearest Mommy. There are some buttons, a doily, and I believe I got this button from my stash from uh, creative young mama, Marissa. Thank you so much. I took this with me, Marissa, and it's almost empty. I've been using it like crazy. There's some beautiful vintage buttons in there. So that was card number one, and on the inside, I just used some of the paper. had this um, die-cut uh, Hello Love on it. And this is a EK Success trim that I use. So the second one, very similar, just a different flower a white doily behind it with some of the beautiful crinkly ribbon, uh, shabby crinkle, uh, wrinkled ribbon from Prairie Bird Boutique. I used some white buttons and I threaded them with some blue and white twine. And there's another die cut that says Mother Knows Best. I went over that with a white uh, gel pen. Uh, another one of these buttons. I don't believe this is a Marissa. I believe that's from a pack that I had. And I just did a doily. And on the inside, there is um, another message there. I used my um, Romance Rectangle Spellbinder die to cut that out and then put this little message on top, and that's where I can uh, make my sentiment. The next paper pad I used was, and let me just make sure so I don't get confused, was from the Basic Gray Fiction Collection. Beautiful. And I made this card. So um, I just stamped the word True Friends using my clear stamps that um, I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And thank you, Laura, for encouraging us to get that stamp set because it was perfect. There is a doily in the background. This is a um, crochet doily that I recently purchased again from the antique store. Remember, I went back twice. It was beige, so I um, sprayed it with some Lindy Stamp Gang pink, but it almost looks kind of coral, which is okay with me. There is a chipboard from the um, Michaels um, pack of uh, chipboard pieces that we got, and I used my gelato white, uh, I don't know if you call it a crayon. So I drew it on there, just missed it a little with some water, and just kind of rubbed it like that, so it kind of gave it a nice white sh uh, color to it. There is a recollection flower there, and then there are those acrylic butterflies and two cherry blossoms. And then I just uh, cut off a piece of the um, wording from the collection memories. And you open it up, and it's just blank with one of these um, K and Company uh, birds. 
So now the next paper pad I used to make these cards were from Webster's Pages. The Petite Pages Collection Triple Pack. Beautiful, beautiful. And I made these cards here. So I purchased this crocheted frame from Michaels. It's their new uh, recollections collection that they have out. And I had some um, letters here. Let's see if I can grab those real quick. This is from the Fact, Fact and Fiction collection. So those are the letters blue, coral, and green. And I just uh, wrote happy birthday. I use another, uh, those beautiful um, silky flowers from the um, Jolie Boutique. There is a flower underneath here. I believe I got this flower from uh, Anna Yanis. Some crinkle ribbon. Some um, of the, um, um, what do they call that? The porcelain uh, rose, ribbon rose. And then there is a um, spare parts flower there. Just some more flowers there. Some, I um, can't think of what those are called, stamens. And then one of the um, mementos, mementa uh, corner, like a frame. And then on the inside, the paper just looked just like that flat, so I thought it would be nice to put the person's name and then the sentiment here. And then the other one is similar. Michaels has the oval frames and then these beautiful crocheted rectangle ones. Same thing, another flower. Again, that's from the Recollect uh, Jolie's collection, I believe. There is a um, flower from my stash. It may be trico. It may be wild orchid craft. It may be I am roses. Not sure. But I have to tell you, if you can see this little bronze rose, and there was one on the other one, too, right there. So I was looking at the card and thinking, okay, it's missing something. And um, Anna had sent me in my last swap with her a jar full of just little trinkets, and it had everything in it, beads and pearls and whatnot. And inside were these little... Um, metal roses and Anna thank you so much because it just set it off I just love these little things I don't know how many I have left but I will be hoarding the rest of them so there's uh, two more flowers up here some more of the porcelain uh, rose buds and some stamen flowers and on the inside again the paper was perfect just as it is okay the next two cards that are similar came from the romance novel from the Prima collection. Two ladies all know that one. And they are these here. So um, again, the paper speaks for itself. I just used some white lace. These are Tim Holtz uh, vintage buttons and some of the beautiful crinkle ribbon. Another one of those roses from uh, Anna Yanis uh, uh, swap that we did. Thank you so much. And I stamped this word postcard and that stamp with a stamp that I had. I just kind of wanted some more writing on the card, so I think it came out really nice. And on the inside, some of the background paper, I cut out a black romance rectangle. And then this piece of paper is from the collection, so again, the sentiment can go there. And then the second one, very similar to the first, the beautiful cream acrylic uh, rose there some of the nice crinkle ribbon so it's very similar and then on the inside kind of the same it was easy to make two once I had the paper pad out it was just just make two and get it over with so then the next card is from the Rondell collection Let's see here this collection here beautiful paper pad again by Prima and I made these two cards from that collection. So here I um, distressed and in ink the uh, paper. I used uh, four of these cream buttons just from a pack that I purchased from um, Walmart, I believe. There is some, um, oh, I can't even think of what this is. <laughs> you know what it is. Some, there's some crocheted uh, trim here. 
a beautiful trico flower, I believe. And this is what I recent, recently purchased from Prairie Bird Boutique, some of this beautiful twine. She has it in several colors. So I just took it and wrapped it around the palm of my hand a couple of times like this. And then in the center, kind of grabbed it together, hot glued it, and then just kind of opened it up once it got on the flower. And then there was a stick pin back here that I just whipped up really quick. And the flower and this little heart was from some of the goodies that Anna sent me in my um, swap with her. Okay, and we open it up, and it's some of the paper. And then, again, I used that um, EK Success um, punch. And the second one, again, very, very much the same. It was easy to do, too. You know, the, the stick pin may differ, not that much, but um, very pretty, pretty, pretty. And on the inside, again. And then, ladies, my last card came from this paper pad, the loofah. Again, this was purchased at Hobby Lobby as well by Creative Imaginations. And I created this card here. So I was in this pink, shabby chic mode. Everything is just, you know, the pink, the black, the tan. But um, this one here, again, some of the paper is distressed and inked on the side. I use a green satin uh, strip of ribbon that I believe probably came in, in the um, swap with Marissa. And then these beautiful covered buttons. I was trying to look back in the video. I believe I got these from Nicole when she sent me a swap some time ago. These were perfect. They're they're pink, they're green, they're brown. They just went well. And then there's just a um, rosette flower there. There's another stick pin that I just, you know, whipped up really quick. And this is a um, heart, a chipboard heart, that I um, put some... Um, glossy accent and then some um, stickles on. I just wanted a little shimmer to it. And then there is a button in the center with this doily. And some of this music paper that I recently purchased from a um, craft store I went to. It came in sheets like this. And I believe they were probably like six, four dollars, so I just bought six of them. So I just cut out a piece of that. And on the inside, it's totally blank. So those are my cards, ladies. So I'm going to go ahead and download this video. And when I come back, I'm going to show you the stick pins that I made. Okay, bye now.